This is McFly Angler. starts now. For a hook, you will want a long shank curved hook like these Risen 200Rs, and today I'm tying a size 10. Place the hook securely in your vise. For thread, I really like this Vivas 10 knot, and today I'm using brown. Start your thread on the hook a little ways down from the hook eye. Snip or snap off the waist. Then tie down deep into the bend of the hook to lay down a thread base, and then bring your thread back up to just past the hook point mark. Now we need some 2mm foam, and today I'm tying this in tan. Measure out a hook gap width, then cut out a strip of foam at that width. Also, add a taper on the tip of the foam. We will also want some super glue here. Paint a little glue on the hook shank, and then tie the foam in directly on top of the shank. Tie down deep into the bend of the hook, ensuring that the foam sits on top and is not tied in at any angle at the rear. Come back up through the foam and back down a few times to clean up that section. Now we need some dubbing, and today I'm using Antron dubbing in this orange color called Ginger Variant. You want a fair amount here, and spread it out like so. Then start the noodle on the thread with a thin section on top, but you don't have to wind the dubbing all the way down the thread, just start it like so. Then make a few wraps to hold the tip of the dubbing down at the rear of the hook. Then grab the dubbing end thread and start winding up the hook shank trying to create a very gradual taper, keeping the rear thinner than the front. But stop about two thirds the way up the hook shank. Now put some super glue over the top of the dubbing. Then pull the foam up over the dubbing abdomen and tie it down square without an angle like so. Pull the foam forward and wrap up to a hook eye length shy of the eye of the hook, and then tie down the foam square as well, ensuring that the foam doesn't rotate. Then come back down and flatten out the space between the two wraps with some thread. Now we need some deer hair. I'm using this bleach stimulator hair because the fibers are finer, but you could use any deer or elk swatch that is made for dry flies. Everyone talks about measuring out the hair in relation to the thickness of a pencil. Now I don't find this as helpful, but maybe about a half a pencil width. Just about this much is all you need. Clean up that clump, brushing out all the under fur, then put into a stacker and line the tips. If you have any broken tips like I do here, then try to remove them if possible. The stack, by the way, doesn't have to be perfect here. In fact, the originator of this fly says he doesn't stack the fur at all, so don't worry too much if it's not perfectly squared off. Measure out the fur to extend back to just barely past the back of the abdomen, and then tie it down tight at that measurement. Now when you tie down tight, it will flare out the hair quite a bit, so we will have to fix this later. Cut off all the excess fur, then wrap over that to clean up the thorax. Then pull back the fur and make loose wraps over it to help lay it down a bit more and keep it from flaring up. Now we need some legs, and I really like these nymph silly legs. Today I'm using the sand barred color. Pull off one leg and then cut it in half. Then take one of the halves and fold it in half. Tie this in on the side of the thorax so the front is a little shorter than the rear. Then tie the other legs in on the other side of the thorax. By the way, you want to make sure you don't tie down the front of the legs too high. Leave a little space in the front before the foam. Now you could use the same color dubbing for the thorax here, but I'm switching to a tan color. Make a thin noodle on the thread and then build up the thorax to hide any thread wraps. Pull back the front part of the legs and make a few wraps in front of them, and crisscross over them as well. Add more dubbing if you need, but end right at the start of the deer hair wing. Add a drop of super glue at the base of the wing and then fold the foam rearward and tie down square to form a round foam head on the fly. While not necessary, I like adding a hot spot on the fly to make it easier to see while fishing it, and I find a thin strip of this razor foam works great for this. I'm using yellow today. Tie in the foam on top, then get a bit more of the dubbing and make a thin noodle. Wrap this noodle over everything to cover up any thread wraps and then make a three to four turn whip finish over it all. Now you can cut off the foam hotspot close, but leave a little room in cutting off the top foam section. 
Also cut the loops of the legs. Then cut the front legs a bit shorter if you desire. And then cut the rear legs to about as long as the back of the thorax. Add a drop of super glue at the whip finish and also at the top part of the foam. And your fly is now finished. Now these Lano bugs were created to fish the Lano River here in Texas. They represent a multitude of different bugs, but I'd say mainly probably grasshoppers are the most definite representation. Give them a try where you live during the hot summer months when the grasshoppers are out. But more than just grasshoppers, I can see these as being a good stonefly representation as well when tied in different colors. These work very well here in Texas for targeting bass and sunfish, but should work just as well for trout. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this fly and if it's one that you have fished with before. As you all know, I have gotten you all discounts from both www.risenfly.com and www.dooliesflyfishing.com. Dooleys offers great prices on all of the name brand fly tying materials, and Risen Fly manufactures their own hooks, rods, reels, and other gear for fly fishing. Their products are top quality, and best of all, they are priced very reasonably. Not only are the prices at these two shops great, but like I said, they are offering all of my subscribers a discount. So use McFly at checkout when ordering from either of these shops, and you will get an additional 15% off of their already great prices. I want to also thank all of my patrons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel, and also get some great perks like early access to my videos, participate in live streams, and more. So go to www.patreon.com forward slash mcflyangler to sign up today. I also thank all of you who share all my videos with your friends and your continued support by hitting the like buttons and subscribing. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.